Namaste, welcome to Home Hashtag Life. I crafted this winter diaries video with love for all you busy folks out there who handle everything with a smile and grace. As we step into the new year, I am sending each of you a warm hug and a gentle reminder. Be kind, be humble. This video is specially dedicated to working women and those stay-at-home individuals managing household responsibilities alongside elderly care at home. In the middle of your busy life, I hope you find a moment of inspiration in this video. I want to encourage you to take a moment for yourself and make your home a bit more special this winter. So. Let's get started. Today, I have a lot of kitchen work to tackle. I got a new organizer to free up some space in my small kitchen. I also need to make a grocery list for monthly essentials and plan to whip up some winter dishes. On my countertop, I prefer storing fruits rather than in the fridge since we enjoy them at room temperature. To keep things organized, I initially got a metal rack for fruit storage. It worked well until our herbal tea collection expanded, requiring more space. This is one organizer I got from IKEA, just what I needed. In the two drawers, I will be organizing fruits and vegetables. While on top, you will find my Darjeeling tea, Tata tea gold, sugar, jaggery neatly arranged. The metal rack now hosts an assortment of herbal teas, Chavan Prash, Rock Salt, Chaat Masala, and this tea brewer my cousin brought me from her Darjeeling trip this year. I absolutely love this cute little teapot. A place for everything and everything in its place is my motto. After all, who doesn't love a neat and organized space, right? Let's talk about some essential winter chores for your home. Whether you are a working woman or a homemaker, certain tasks are must to keep your home neat and tidy. I don't have much to do here. Just rearranging my wardrobe to store away sleeveless and light summer clothes towards the back of the shelf. Being from Hyderabad, we don't experience extreme cold, so lightweight jackets are enough for us. To keep your saris and occasional wear in good shape, expose them to sunlight after the rainy season. I'm a bit late this year, but better late than never. I will be keeping them out for 20 to 30 minutes to prevent mold and mildew. Siri, set the timer for half an hour. Like sarees, I put my books in the sun to avoid any infestations or bugs. Mm -hmm. 
Since Hyderabad doesn't get extremely cold, I stick to lightweight blankets on the bed and a few throws on sofas and chairs for warmth at night. Adding some check patterned cushion covers and tablecloths gives a festive feel. Check is my favorite pattern after the florals. By the way, uh, did you know these patterns are called as gingham? I recently discovered this interesting fact. Gingham possibly originated in Malaysia, was popularized by Dutch and English. It's a repeating check pattern, usually crisp white with a bright contrasting color. Sometimes learning new things like this uh, brings a little extra happiness to the day. I'm introducing a new segment in every video from now on called Kuch Baate Some Thoughts. I often come across interesting ideas from books and thought-provoking documentaries or I adopt certain habits worth highlighting. My aim is to provide something new for you to learn and be inspired to cultivate a meaningful life beyond the usual housework that tends to dominate our focus. I am excited to have discussions with all of you in the comments and hopefully make our lives a little more um, meaningful. We'll see. Today, I want to talk about making a bucket list. Do you have one? If this term is new to you, a bucket list is essentially your ultimate to-do list for a fulfilling life. Watch the movie Bucket List starring Morgan Freeman and Jack Nicholson for a more visual understanding. I got the idea after watching this film and it left a lasting impression. Grab a pen and a paper, yes not your mobile, a pen and a paper and jot down names of dream destinations where you want to go, adventurous activities like scuba diving or kayaking, learning new skills like um, PowerPoint presentation or sewing, I mean I don't know these are all like vague some ideas I am giving you, achieving personal milestones like running in a marathon, participating in charity missions or starting a home run business. Importantly, keep it to yourself until you fulfill it. I recently ticked off another item on my bucket list on my birthday. I got a new tattoo that says let go. At this milestone in my life, I want to allow feelings and people to unfold without extensive interference or emotional burden. For me, let go doesn't mean forgetting or ignoring, instead it's about accepting the present moment and freeing myself from unnecessary stress. It serves as a constant reminder to just let go of that emotional weight. A story to tell and a delicious muffin to bake. All done. Baking at home is therapeutic for me and during winter, I love making morning glory muffins with carrots. Mm. 
So, a note to ourselves, make a bucket list. I would be so glad if you learned something new today. Here is the recipe. Feel free to take a screenshot of it. Before I create this month's grocery list, I have got to tackle this chaos in the pantry. It's a bit of a mess, but these deep uh, pantry units have their own advantages and disadvantages. The upside is ample space, but the downside is the challenge of keeping these shelves organized. Over time, our food choices and ingredients have evolved. I didn't plan for the new additions and now it's time to rethink the space, especially to make room for more jars. If you haven't seen it yet, I have shared a video on grocery management and you can find the link in the description box below. We replaced the old damaged marble border with this new one, but we faced a challenge with the TV cabinet. Due to its low height, the same border couldn't be added underneath, leaving it looking incomplete. To fix this, we decided to add a skirting under the TV cabinet. Although we needed to paint it, we kept delaying it for some reason. God knows why. Our daily roles and responsibilities from cooking and laundry to teaching kids and keeping track of groceries often hold us back from doing something different. Done. We painted the skirting in green to maintain a cohesive look uh, from the dining area wall to the living room wall. We also used the same wallpaper that I used on the mandir area wall. It's tough to find time and more importantly, the energy for a change with the never ending list of everyday tasks. Taking just half an hour away from the screen, especially during special times of the year like this, to do something creative like decorating a small corner of our home, a DIY project or painting can have a powerful impact. That small piece of art has the ability to remind us to live, make us smile every day. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe I have been making homemade bread for about two and a half years now because my daughter absolutely loves it and I didn't want her to consume red meat once However, recently I have noticed a hiccup in my bread baking uh, success. The loaves are turning out dense and not fermenting properly. After some investigation, I found out that the culprit might be the yeast. So, I went ahead and purchased a new instant yeast after reading several reviews. 
finger crossed. Let's see if this time the bread turns out just right. Bus, 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 enough, enough. Before I dive into recipes, I want to address all amazing women out there managing multiple responsibilities like work, home, caregiving. It's essential to consider your priorities. If making a variety of seasonal dishes brings you joy, go for it. However, if your happiness lies in taking care of yourself, preparing one or two seasonal recipes and creating memories with your family or uh, prioritizing your resting time, don't caught up in the social media comparison game. As a content creator, I share many things, but that doesn't mean I cook numerous dishes or seasonal recipes every day. Watch social media videos with a practical mindset. This winter, I wanted to recreate a couple of my childhood winter delicacies and at the top of that list is moa. We got a packet of khoi for Diwali Puja. In Bengali, it's called khoi. In English, it's probably a variation of puffed rice. And in Hindi, it's called khil. With winter around, gur or jaggery is perfect. I am using akhir gur or cane jaggery for this recipe. Add gur in a kadhai and a little bit of water. Let it melt on low heat. Once it's cooked well, probably 8 to 10 minutes, check its consistency. It should form a fine single line. Mix well. If you store it like this, it's uh, called murki, and if you shape it into laddu, that's moa. In West Bengal, there is a famous seasonal sweet we used to enjoy every winter Joy Nogurir Moa, made with palm jaggery and kanak chur khoi, with the khoa khir and uh, dry fruits added, 
I'm not a big fan of sweets but I'm preparing it specially for Pihu and Saurav to introduce them to our traditional treats. If they like it, I might make uh, more of these lattus. While I was not uploading videos due to health hiccups, I was going through another mental agony. I would be lying if I said I didn't worry about views and engagement on our channel for not uploading videos frequently. YouTube uh, is a great platform and takes care of the creators who are consistent. However, I cannot generalize things here. Then I had to accept my situation, make peace with it and uh, learn to let go of things feelings and relationships that are meant to be left behind. In 2024, I will be uploading fewer videos, but I can assure you that I will do my best to maintain and deliver the quality content you always look forward to. A standard I have never compromised. I hope you will continue to support meaningful content where together we can strive to learn and grow. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Sending lots of love and wishes for a happy new year. I will see you in the next one. Till then take care. Bye bye.